During recent weeks, we've been carrying out a very important public consultation exercise through a series of town hall meetings across Greater Manchester. The purpose of those meetings was to get across the size of the huge financial challenge facing Greater Manchester Police, to try and convey some of the reality of how we spend our, our time and our effort at the moment, and most importantly, to get the views of the public on how we should make, be making some of the difficult decisions as to how we're going to achieve these savings. The force is faced with having to fill a gap of £134 million over the next four years. Given that we spend most of our budget on staff, this means that there will be a 23% reduction in staff overall, equivalent to almost 2,800 posts. How are we going to get through this? Well, it certainly means that we will need to concentrate on those activities which are most important to the public and create most pain for the criminal. So this means eliminating unnecessary bureaucracy, checking and red tape. It certainly means continuing our investment in neighbourhood policing, working with the local people and other agencies to solve local problems, concentrating on those families and those individuals and those repeat locations which actually suck up most of the public spend. It certainly means continuing our investment against serious and organised crime, which have seen the number of shootings at a 20-year low. But it also means returning discretion and common sense to our staff so they are really being driven by what is best for local people. We'd also need to make some difficult decisions. For instance, concentrating our effort on those areas of highest crimes and against the most persistent offenders. It means we will need to do, for instance, more business over the telephone, more of our public contact that way, and difficult decisions, for instance, about the number of front inquiry offices. We need your help in making those decisions. What we cannot compromise on is our standards of openness and accountability to you, our adherence to core values of respect and integrity, and the fact that we are driven by compassion, that we are alongside people at some of the worst moments in their lives. And although that we are policing an increasingly troubled society, where we feel we will bear some of the impact of the cuts in other public services, we cannot compromise on our efforts to be alongside people and help people at difficult times. So I hope that you will take part in this important consultation exercise. Having been to the town halls, we are now going to use the web to see if we can gather more views from more local people. And so I certainly hope you will take part. Thank you.